Welcome back to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. This should be called the Patriot League Champion website right now because Lafayette beat Lehigh this weekend, an incredible game, 50-28. to 28. Hitting on all cylinders is the Lafayette offense, and defensively they were outstanding. Going to play New Hampshire this week. University of New Hampshire, big, strong, tough team, was down here a couple weeks ago, played Lehigh, lost the game, but at one point in time were up about 20 points, so they know how to score on offense. For the Lafayette offense, are they going to want to get into a track meet? Or are they going to want to control the football and limit the possessions of the New Hampshire offense? That's going to be the key this week. Run at the bubble. One thing Lafayette's done a great job this year at, especially in the last couple of games, is running the football. And inside, you're going to see for UNH a six-man front, basically six guys in the box. They play a 4-2-5 defense. Four up front. Five in the secondary, including a weak safety or strong safety, an extra safety, and two linebackers in the box. Where's the bubble? That's what we want to find. We talk about the bubble screen sometimes, but today we're going to talk about the bubble. And where that bubble occurs is in that open B gap away from the uh, three technique tackle. This is a three technique tackle, shade on the nose. So what you want to do, and Lafayette did a great job of this on the goal line against Lehigh, is when they run that downhill little zone play, you get an easy double team right here up to the linebacker, and then you get a kick out here. So you can get running at the bubble. That's what we call it. Lafayette can also bring in that extra tight end against UNH. And what that's going to do now is create a dilemma for the nose guard. He probably has to kick himself over to a one technique to balance up the front. But here's the advantage right here. An inside technique end makes this safety, who is a defensive back, come up and get involved in the running game. Again, you can see where the bubble is. If, for some example, the front moves away and Drew has a play, say, to one side, 28 or 29, check with me at the line, what he can do is over the play or Omaha. A lot of times you'll hear NFL quarterbacks say Omaha. Basically taking the play to one side over to the other side. So if that tackle would slide down in here and that safety comes up for support, well, guess where the bubble is? So very simple sometimes to figure that out if the team doesn't stem. So you may see Lafayette go with a two tight end set, allows the quarterback and the offensive lineman to find that bubble in the defense. If they stay with the wide receivers and they kick the safety out, you may even see Lafayette stack their receivers. And what that does is that's gonna widen may even take a linebacker out of the box and remain with one linebacker in the box. And that's what Lafayette's probably going to want, five against five in the box, find the bubble, and run at it. Tough task for the Leopards this week. They're going to go all the way up to New Hampshire, Durham. Not a great situation up there field-wise, but Lafayette should be up to the task. Can they score points? Do they want to turn it into a track meet, or do they want to control the ball? That's what you want to look for this week. First playoff game, maybe the first playoff win for the Leopards.